Hello guys, this is Avcor and some people are actually doing reviews on these characters and I personally think they're okay, but you have to look at the character in a way that lets you know if you should waste your hard on earned keys on these things because keys are so expensive and you can't really buy them the way you want to so you gotta know what you're spending your resources on okay with that out the way let's talk about Zelveneth I looked on a Korean server um I looked on game key it's like like the, the name is like always different so um we'll just go with what we see here my first impression is this character is a powerful character but she is not for everybody. And I'll go into later why I think that is. So let's get started. <laughs> cute, isn't it? But she's not so cute. One thing we always look at when we do these character overviews is we look at the stats. Because I think the stats actually let you know how the character is supposed to be used and in this case it definitely shows you how she's supposed to be used let's go right here to concentration that is 160 that is low concentration for an assassin class so you know right off the bat she is not meant to do single target attack she is an aoe assassin this is new and for me i'm kind of excited about that because the way I interpret the game, that it had limited, like, function. If you play Langresser, you know that horses can tank, spear units can tank. They even have sword units that can tank. Um, holy units can tank. Demon units can tank. Um, not so much healing units, so to speak. So the fact that they're breaking the mold with these characters is a good sign for game longevity. Just pointing that out. When we really look at her stats, I want you to understand one thing. She is very, very durable. And when you're rocking A HP, A physical defense, and S magical defense, you have tanking stats. One of the best tanks in the game is Gabriel, and she has S S S. So she's two ranks away from having stats like Gabriel so that is phenomenal and her attack is phenomenal her stat line is phenomenal uh, I, I doubt we'll see a stat line like this for for some time to come because she's dark I, I guess they favorite this character because her stat line is phenomenal she shouldn't have stats like this being an assassin but when you look at her kit, it kind of makes sense, but then it doesn't because it kind of makes her broken. So, of course, we look at her, her her color, which is darkness. So, her only weakness is light. And there's not too many light characters in the meta right now. So, she's not really being challenged on that end. Uh, we're seeing a decline on the use of Gabriel in Korean PvP. So, take that for what you will. And Marguerite is not really used in, in Korean PvP. So... Take that for what you will. So let's look at her unique passive. Now we know that she actually ignores enemy guard, which is really insane. I think this is one of the um, more broken aspects of her kit. The fact that she, in her passive, does have to worry about um, e escort skills. So whenever she's around, like, other units, uh, if you put her in a massive unit, her stats will increase by a certain percentage. This is the highest one. So take this with a grain of salt. This will not be this high at three stars. So attain dart skill. You reduce damage you take by 50%. This is the variation on the assassin aspect of her kit. The fact that she doesn't, 
she takes hits instead of just like dodging them all together, which is different from Simi. So I'm I'm glad they're reinterpreting the assassin formula, and I hope they uh, progress in that way. So let's look at her uh, uh, three skills that she starts with: uh, dark pupils and shadows, deal 0.5 physical attack to all enemies in rage, and inflict. And you disable all passive skills. That's really good. That's super good. Dragon's Darkness. Wow. Okay, we talked about this in the earlier video. Where this is her race skill. We'll talk about it later. And this is her passive where she does fixed damage to the enemy who have like 20% HP. So that's this is really good. Some of this I already talked about in an earlier video. So if I go too fast, just look at the other video. This is important. This is what allows her to synergize with dark teams. Because after she deals damage, she can inflict one debuff to an enemy. And she has a lot of AOE skills. So this... It's, it's hard to say which passive will be better. We're going to have to have play testing and see which passive is good. Because we have death threats, which is really good. If you have low, if you have HP low 20%, she does fixed damage to everybody in range. So until we like play test it, we won't know out of these two which one is better. Um, Soul of Death, you inflict 1.5 damage to a unit, and you deal fixed damage to all enemies within range if you kill somebody but if you don't kill anybody you recover hp really versatile solid skill i like it fires lightning arrow dealing one point damage to a target before the attack you increase damage this is really good so you move really far and if you get to a unit you deal maximum damage it's hard to say which uh her skills we're gonna see i think the aoe we're gonna see more but if you want to run her in a single target assassin type build, this is really good. That's a really good skill because you get damage increase and that's something that she needs. Because she does not crit because of her low uh, concentration. Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> He's SR, so that's a good unlock right there. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, that's nice. Another passive that is really good for for debuff teams and also for physical attack teams because armor shred just lowers physical defense, so this is really good. It's hard to say which uh, which um, which which of her uh, passives are are are, are the best because she's got really good passives. Uh, Will of Solitude when there are no allies within. Two tiles increase physical attack and physical defense by 10%. This is like mediocre. I, I would say mediocre because it does have use because sometimes you want her to go in alone because when you're running the AOE type uh, box, there always has to be an initiator, someone who goes first, and you don't want them to die. So that helps. But I think there's better stuff that she's doing. Oh, that's 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 really cool. Uh, that's really cool. So, I actually have Yig already. I might have to roll for her, man. Cause if you, yeah, unlocks are hard in this game. And this is the AOE that um does damage, and you get return from death, which does fix damage to all enemies. And if you have dark skill. And return of death, you get you get 80% damage reduction. And once you extinguish that, you get um, uh, fixed damage to all your opponents. So that's pretty good. It's a single target. It's a single. Tar I'm checking to see if she has another AOE. Um, okay, that's. Let's go to something real quick. So that's it. Okay. Okay, this is this is the second AoE. So she has two AoEs. 
I'm just checking because if you're gonna play an AOE character, they gotta have at least two AOEs. So, oh, she's good on that. She's good on that. So, let's get out of here. Um. <laughs> Where is it where we can um see uh enemy blockade lightly ignoring enemy interference? The Deso skill can cause strong damage to the enemy. So I was wrong, so you can't ignore guard. And when you have not dealt with the enemy you could cover HP and deal with the low HP after the battle with Threat of Death. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So I don't want to use that yet. So let's see what we can do. All right, extra night seal causes more damage case. Mages are allowed in the fire high damage community. So, Ara Andago. I'm not supposed to kill those guys anyway. So, they try to kill Borago. Alright. Oh wow. So she exceeds the normal damage parameters. So they say I was not. They didn't factor in the fact that she had that skill. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty dirt good. So I I knew I knew she was gonna be this good, but yeah, she's kind of broken. I, I kind of, uh, and I'm gonna explain right now why she is kind of broken. Let's look at our glossary real quick. Let's look at heroes. 새로운 세계, 새로운 시작. Um, the thing that makes her broken is the meta is shifted to dark, so. The core three characters that you want to use her with is with Susie and Susie. 준 신뢰가 내 옆에 동생보다는 많아야 할 거야. So you have Susie and Susie. 보여? 내 언니의 집착은 정말 무서울 정도지. And I always talk about this character because she provides a strong leadership skill. She also provides debuffs, and she also is an AOE attacker. And there's a theme going on right now, and that's fixed damage. I think fixed damage is shaping the meta. And another character who fits into this fixed damage theme is Catherine. 유능한 인재라면 아이비스는 언제든 환영이야. Catherine deals fixed damage by sacrificing her golems. It took it took some research for me to figure out why Catherine is so good. But when I realized why Catherine is so good, it made me realize I really needed to learn more. Because the strategy is basically to overwhelm the opponent with fixed damage, because fixed damage gets over the bulk hurdle, because there's there's a bulk hurdle with high HP units, um, and there's also a hurdle with damage mitigation. So the strategy that the Koreas are using is mass AO, mass AOE and debuffs, and Catherine and Susie and Susan and this character are part of that. 이런 아 폭발 용량 조절을 잘 못했어요. 내가 저만큼 노력을 안 하고 있나 봐요. 이러면 안 되는데 말이죠. So so we were looking at the meta wrong. So when you look at the meta in this lens, uh, Zelvanat is actually more potent to PVP than uh the new character uh. It is. But what I said later is the fact that 
she is not for everybody. And I do really mean that. Because first off, she is purely meant for PvP. And why do I say that? It's because some of her skills do not apply well in PvE content. Like, if you are just a starting out player, she really isn't for you. This is kind of like, I would call a big boy character. This is for people who are serious about PvP and are looking to advance to the highest ranks. And she can do that for a box, but those boxes are specifically tailored to PvP. And when you actually start to tailor your team to PvP, that means you mastered most of the PvE content. I'm not there yet. Um, some people I have seen that have characters at rank 9. And if you have a couple of characters at rank 9, then Zelvenet is a luxury that you can afford. Is she a must-have? No. Is she a must-have for PvP? Yes. Yes. She is a must-have for PvP. And um, we're going to look at... In a couple of weeks, we're going to look at the Korean... Um, pvp tier list and i'm sure she's going to be up there but if you like my content the like share subscribe button i'll get back to you you have a great one and goodbye